威啦，国威啦！
but as I walk through the gates of Sacred Art College, it all makes sense. The first day still fits vividly in my mind. We sat down on the Pompeii rock, and the infamous Mr. Dow addressed us. There's three things I don't tolerate about. <laughs> There's three things I do not tolerate at Sacred Art College. Bullying, drugs, and thieving. Boys, if you do any of these three things, I'll kick your butts down West Ham. And though Mr. Dale might have been a handy footballer in his prime, I fortunately never got to witness his right foot volley to Glendale College. <laughs> From that day on, we never looked back. We got amongst everything that came our way. Every house event, every cultural practice, sports trial, internal, I could go on and on. But here we are, tonight, gathered together with our friends and family to celebrate the combination of memories we've gained over the past seven years. We arrived as boys, and now we sit beside each other, ready to enter the world as young Marist men. The diligent leadership of the Year 13s throughout the college this year has been top notch. The expectation was set with a record number of 35 prefects being chosen this year. This number of 35 prefects gives us a clear example of the unbelievable leadership group we have had on offer this year. To my prefect team, thank you so much. We have taken the torch from Lameki and the prefects of 2017 and ran with it. You can all be incredibly proud of your contribution to the school this year. Also, thank you to Mr O'Donnell for your guidance with the prefect team. You're a rock star. One major thing that makes me so proud of my year group is that regardless of prefect role or not, Leadership was seen amongst all walks of Year 13 as I saw boys put their hand up to take charge and become role models for younger students. Whether it was seen leading from the front of the dog pit, getting the boys over the line, or in those late after school study centre sessions when you could have been easily at home squatting up Fortnite with the boys. The selfless service of the Year 13 cohort has been truly immense. Marcelin Champagne, our founder of the Maris Brothers, was a man that didn't like much of the spotlight, but was a hard worker and was much respected through his efforts. I congratulate every single one of you boys for stepping up to the task that was needed of us. The success of 2018 can be greatly regarded by the quiet leadership of so many of you. Sacred Heart College is a school which is feared and envied around Auckland by anyone who comes into contact with us, whether it's in sports or in the arts. We have all played our part in the extracurricular activities on offer at the college, with many of us representing in a high premier level. For me, nothing beats going out with the crest on my chest every week, giving 100%, not just because I want to win, but because I don't want to let my brothers down. One of my highlights at the time at the college was having the opportunity to play my first 15 debut against public enemy number one, Grandma. The buzz around school was unreal. I can remember sitting in St. Piers with Joshy J a couple of hours before kickoff, about to throw up. Walking out in front of the packed dog pit, it gave me this great sense of pride from where I'd come from. And I can almost stop and picture it now, watching Shannon almost pass out from excitement. <laughs> <laughs> we have all had our own experiences of pride within the school, in many different forms. But the one thing that we all had in common was that us boys, we were there, striving to be the best that we can be, pushing each other to the limit, it is what makes us who we are. Boys will be boys, don't get me wrong, but it is the passion and the love for what we stand for at Sacred Heart 
that pulls those that are astray back into line. Seeing the old boy's contribution made every year to help better the school again sums up the pride that we have installed at Sacred Heart College. These old boys may be the first ones to question the dodgy line out throwing in the post-max function, but they continue to con contribute back to our school so they can remain enriched within the pride and the passion. As we depart and become old boys of ourselves, it is essential that we must remain relevant in our school and continue to give back so that the next generation of boys can experience the great things that we did. Sacred Heart continues to grow as one of the leading boys secondary schools in the country. And a lot of the success can be credited through the leadership and integrity of our principal, Mr. Jim Dale. Sir, thank you for believing in me and mentoring me throughout this role as head boy. Your organisational leadership and your work ethic has left a massive positive impact on me. I wish you all the best for your near future and thank you publicly on behalf of the students, past and present, for your endless love and work for our school that you have given over the past 12 years. Sir, we've got this temporary gift for you. Your leavers jersey is on the way, but here, on behalf of the boys here, we just want to thank you, so please come up and thank you. staff members throughout school, often I don't think you understand the full extent of the effect that you create on us. We have grown up with your guidance and will take the many skills that we have received under your wing to the next stage of our lives. Thank you for the countless hours and care to want us, young men, to succeed in life. Each of us boys has had that teacher or that staff member that we have bonded with and looked up to more than anyone. And tonight, I would like to acknowledge one staff member in particular who I have found to be a great role model for me personally. This man, I believe, sums up everything we value and inspire to become at Sacred Heart College. Brother John, thank you for all your quiet acts you do for us boys, especially those in the hostel. I have admired all your selfless gestures over the years, and I want to thank you for your continuing contribution towards Sacred Heart. You believed in me when you picked a chubby year 11 boy in your 4A rugby team, and this such belief that has inspired me to go on to achieve goals that were only dreams in year 7. Thank you, brother. From a student's perspective, there is one group of staff that have the overwhelming presence around the school. Having these men walk around the college is honestly what separates us from everyone else. Brother Michael, 54 years at the college, spectacular. I bet even now, brother, you would give first 15 Shay Fihaki a run for your money, run for his money with his mighty boot. Marcelin Champagne may have died 180 years ago, but his vision lives on in what can be exampled in the presence of the brothers. On behalf of the Year 13 boys, we thank each and every brother for doing the little ordinary things extraordinarily. 
Your legacy has touched the hearts of every student in this room and will continue to shine ever so brightly as we enter the next chapter of our Marist journey. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever thought I'd be lucky enough to lead alongside two of the kindest and best blokes you could ask for. To the Deputy Head Prefects, Lance and Carbo and Zachary Omar. We've had a right laugh this year. And we've made memories that I'll never forget. We've had each other's backs from the start and I want to thank you both on behalf of the Year 13 boys for your massive contribution to the college this year. Thank you very much. At the end of everything, it is our parents that we need to thank. They are the ones that have gifted us with the seven years of education and lifelong friendships. So before tonight ends, make sure you let them know how much they mean to you. To my mum, thank you for comforting me during the hard times and being that person to talk to. Having all the boys over to have them clean out the fridge and leave a mess is one of the many things I apologise for. <laughs> you continue to inspire me every day. To Big PK. Hey, you mate. <laughs> I've never met a man so passionate about something that my father is about his school. Dad, you're a great man who is filled with a lot of love and faith, much of which I'm sure you've learned in your time at Sacred Heart. You believed in me and you kept me on the right track, regardless if I've given you a bit of lip from here to there. I hope to be a man of your character one day. I also hope to be a man of character like my uncle, Bernard, who continues to devote his life to our faith and our values. Thank you for your continuing gift to our college. This week has been tough, and my thoughts and prayers all week have been for the Davis family. May the light of our Lord watch over one of our brothers as he continues to battle on, showing the heart of a lion. It is moments like these where we as a college are brought closer than ever. The hurt and the sadness can be filled with the rich memories of the people that he has touched. As a Marist family, we shall pick each other up and strive through these difficult times, just as we know that Cameron would want us to do. Keep fighting, brother. Keep fighting. I'm going to miss the sight of the dewy fields on a Saturday winter's morning. I'm going to miss the sight of a packed chapel on a Thursday lunchtime. I'm going to miss walking from class to class keeping my hand outside my pocket because I know I'm going to shake hands with the boys on the way. Going to miss the jokes and the laugh, the lunchtime footy, the touch shop, the banter with the teachers, the after school extra help. I'm going to miss the safety of my home. It is these small things that we remember as we step out into the world where we will look back and cherish. We have seen it all together. Our legacy is forever. And then one day, in the near future, we will be fathers of our own. We will let his tie hang at his kneecaps and pull his socks up to his thighs, take him to school on his first day, and then sit and watch as the journey begins again. Comfortare est over and take courage and act manfully. Kia ora.
rain is falling. Still some covered shed some skin. Clouds are shrouding us in moments unforgettable. Twisted the mode that I am in. But things just get so crazy and it feel like it's hard to do. Sunday morning rain is falling and I'm calling out to you. Maybe one day it will bring me back to you. Find a way to bring me back to you. That may be all I need in darkness she's all Sunday morning, and now I'm not going to. 